Hey everyone, I'm Rob and welcome to the test drive. Today, I'm driving the 2019 Ford F-150 Platinum and today, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about this full size and in my opinion, luxury pickup truck. But first, before we get into the video, I have a GoPro Hero Session giveaway going on on my other channel called A Wander Affair. It's a channel that I have with my wife and all you have to do is go to that channel, subscribe to it and then go and comment on the giveaway video. I have all the instructions in the description below as well as all the links in the description and up in the cards. So before you do anything else make sure you do that we're gonna give that away as soon as that channel hits a thousand subscribers which looks like it's gonna be very soon so I've reviewed a couple different f-150s on the channel the first was around the beginning of my channel it was a 2018 Lariat that was a really nice truck it had leather and then later on I reviewed the 2018 XLT trim level which was more basic still a very nice truck but this is my first time driving a platinum one of the interesting things about the F-150 lineup for 2019 is that the Platinum is actually not the highest level truck. So I would have always thought that the Platinum, it sounds like it would be the highest level and the Raptor isn't the highest level either. The Raptor actually starts at just $1,000 more than this truck. This truck starts at 55,000. The Raptor starts around 56,000. However, there is the Limited and that starts at $67,000. So a massive jump up from the Platinum platinum but still this is a very nice truck very luxurious and in this video I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about it so like in every other review we're gonna start with the exterior of this truck I really like the way that this truck looks from the front it's very aggressive I like the headlights a lot although I have to say that I like the pre facelifted the 2017 and earlier headlights better those are the headlights that are also in the Raptor but still I think this looks very good from the front this truck also has a lot of chrome on it if you look at the tailgate it has a lot of chrome on it and you do have these large 20 inch chrome wheels and again I'm not normally a fan of chrome on vehicles in general and especially not on trucks but I think it really works on this F-150 Platinum and it makes it pretty obvious that this is a higher level more luxurious pickup truck the tailgate also has a soft open feature which is really nice and then you can also get that step ladder thing to help you climb up into the back of your truck it's only a couple hundred bucks it's not a feature that I really care for but it does exist and for some people uh, it might be really helpful because this is the platinum you also get these beautiful daytime running lights the headlights are just so much better on the platinum in general and then the tail lights look really good too and that's another thing that distinguishes this from other f-150s however one of the most impressive parts of this truck is definitely the interior because it is absolutely amazing in here it's so luxurious it's so nicely built it looks so good you have these very nice soft leather seats that have the platinum badging in here just kind of reminds anybody who's in this truck that it is a platinum and not just a lariat you have heated and cooled seats standard up front and standard heated seats in the back and you also have a heated steering wheel standard and this is a really nice soft leather wrapped steering wheel you have leather and vinyl surfaces all throughout the interior of this truck you do have some hard plastic which is expected in a pickup truck but for the most part the the materials are really nice now I think the twin panel moonroof is absolutely a must in this truck it's only a $1,500 upgrade the truck that I'm driving doesn't have it and it just opens it up makes it feel even bigger in here as if it doesn't feel big enough uh, because it totally does without it but it's just really nice to have that moonroof you do have a black headliner standard which is great and there is so much room on the inside of this truck you have a very large back seat I can sit behind myself with absolutely no problem I'm six feet tall and somebody much bigger than me could sit in the back of this truck with a much bigger driver up front as well this truck is the super crew configuration so it does have the largest cab of any of the f-150s there's one that has a smaller back seat as well I think that's a super cab and then you do have the regular cab which doesn't have a back seat at all Now, 
Now, when you get to the performance of the 2019 F-150 Platinum, there are three different engine choices. The standard engine option is the five liter V8. That would be my favorite engine option for the Platinum, and I think probably in general for the F-150 lineup. However, under the hood of this truck is the regular, not the high output, 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbo V6, putting out 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque, and that is a lot of torque. This truck is an absolute beast. It just doesn't have the sound of a V8. But this is a great engine. It gets pretty good fuel economy and it does drive very nicely. It has a lot of power, that's for sure. There's also a three liter turbo diesel V6 option that is also very good from the torque standpoint. Does put out a decent amount of horsepower as well. That's a $3,000 option. So if I was gonna get a platinum, I would definitely stick with the five liter V8. But this engine for only $600 could be a good option as well. This truck also features the 10 speed automatic that Ford and GM co-developed. I've driven so many different vehicles with this transmission. I have zero issues with it. I mean, I'm cruising along at 72 miles an hour, at almost 75 now, and it's been in 10th gear the entire time, and it's cruising at a very low RPM. I do think there definitely is a fuel economy benefit from the 10 speed. I don't think it's entirely necessary to have 10 gears, but I think uh, Ford and GM did a good job with it. This truck also rides so nice when you go over bumps you don't even really feel them very much and you don't have like the bed rattling or anything like that it really feels like this truck was well built and it is really comfortable to drive on a long trip it also handles pretty well and feels pretty nimble considering how big it is it doesn't feel like it's as big as it is I actually drove this in the city in downtown Boston as well and in terms of navigating around and parking it wasn't bad at all now when you get to the technology in the 2019 F-150 Platinum, like you'd expect, you get a lot of features standard. Of course, you get this nice touch screen with Sync 3. Navigation is standard as well, and then you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, also standard in this truck. You have a nice large digital screen in between the tachometer and the speedometer, and you get a lot of the comfort access features that you'd expect as well, like keyless entry, remote start. You also get blind spot monitoring standard in this truck and then there are a couple other safety technology packages that are pretty inexpensive. One of my least favorite features in the world, auto start stop, is standard in this truck. The 4x4 model has the two-speed transfer case, which you would expect, so you do have four high and four low in addition to two high, and then you also have a four auto mode. The Bang & Olufsen sound system is also standard in this truck, which is great. This is a really nice sound system, and then probably one of my favorite things about this truck is the fact that you have two full-size power outlets standard. I was so surprised that not only was there one up front, but there's also one in the rear. You also have several normal vehicle power outlets, and then you have several USB ports throughout this truck. There's a lot of power in here for a truck that obviously seats five people. You have at least four USB ports and multiple power outlets. I mean, there's so much that you can plug into this truck. It's really awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the 2019 Ford F-150 Platinum. Once again, I'm Rob. This is The Test Drive. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any awesome upcoming content. I have so many more reviews coming as well as so many more videos of my own vehicles. I have a bunch of mods uh, that are going to be happening in the very near future for my 2019 BMW 440i and a lot of awesome other fun stuff going on on the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.